After months of testing, I finally have a verdict. Here are my top three favorite earplugs for music. Hi everyone, I am Dr. Steve Taddy from Hearing Tracker, and in this video, I'd like to share with you my go-to earplugs for music. Over the past months, I've had the absolute pleasure of independently reviewing nine of the most popular and highly acclaimed passive non-custom earplugs advertised for music use. Not only did I rigorously test these devices in real-world situations, but I also put them through a series of measurements in our lab. This allowed us to objectively assess their performance and see what each device really has to offer. Though I tested a total of nine devices, I'm going to focus on the top three ranked earplugs in this video. But don't worry, because I've compiled all of my thoughts, sound samples, data, and rankings into one massive review for you on Hearing Tracker. So if you're looking to sample one of the earplugs that didn't make the cut, head on over to my full review using the link in the description. And if you'd like to stay up to date with all our new content, please take a moment and hit that subscribe button. First, let's take a moment and talk about musicians' earplugs and how they are different from your standard foam plug. While all devices will be slightly different, they generally subscribe to the same design ideology of uniform sound reduction. And this means that the lows, mids, and high frequencies are reduced as evenly as possible. Nowadays, you'll see this advertised as musician's earplug, high fidelity, ultra high fidelity, flattest frequency response, and or other claims. This stems from the belief that the best earplug for music is tantamount to turning the volume down and not otherwise affecting sound quality. This is really the key difference between high fidelity plugs and those designed for industrial noise exposure. Musicians' earplugs attempt to provide uniform sound reduction in two ways. First, they have a specially designed acoustic membrane or filter. Sometimes these are built into the plug while others provide removable or interchangeable filters. Secondly, there is generally a soundboard or acoustic channel. Why do we need this? Well, our ear canals are tiny tubes, and any tube is going to influence sound traveling through it with specific resonances. If that doesn't make sense, go put a paper towel tube over your ears and listen for what happens. When we plug our ears, that resonance changes, so the acoustic channel attempts to recreate it. Together, the acoustic membrane and acoustic channel are supposed to keep things sounding natural and not muffled while plugged. Now, while this is the ultimate goal, it has never been clear to me whether or not a specific earplug accomplishes this. And along with that, does an earplug offer enough attenuation to protect me? Honestly, there are so many options, and they all have similar claims. So without further delay, here are the top devices that we put to the test. We looked at Alpine MusicSafe Pro, Eraser's standard filter plugs for musicians and concert goers, Earpiece NPR Music X, Eargasm High Fidelity Plugs, Eargasm Slide Plugs, Atomotic Research ER20XS, Loop Experience Pro, Minuendo Lossless Earplugs, and Vibes High Fidelity Plugs. These devices were chosen based on what we found to be the most popular and or commonly referenced earplugs online. But if there are others that have worked well for you, let me know in the comments below. Honestly, each of these plugs had something special to offer, but to me, there were three winners that stood out above the rest, all things considered. So let's take a look at those first, and this is not in any specific order. One of the top plugs we tested were the Etymotic Research ER20XS. Etymotic Research is a pillar in the earplug world, and for good reason. The ER20XS is a redesigned version of the acclaimed ER20 plug, offering improvements to both the physical design and acoustic filter response above 4000 Hz. While ER20XS are a great hearing protection device, they are rather minimalist as they did not include multiple filters or ear tip sizes. I purchased their standard triple flange option and after trying them, the dual flange would likely have worked better. So you may have a little more guesswork initially, but it is definitely worth returning to purchase if you get the wrong size. Lastly, the rubber carrying case worked, but it wouldn't be my preference and it likely wouldn't hold up long term on my keys. Another one of our top three earplugs were the Loop Experience Pro. Loop is a newer company and they set a high bar with comfort, overall style, and sound quality. They offer an extra sleeve called the Mute, which provides additional sound attenuation. Another benefit of Loop is that each set of plugs come with various ear tips, 
and sizes. Look, this may seem like a small offering, but it really isn't. Getting a good seal and comfortable fit is extremely important when it comes to protecting your hearing. And as the tips are included, you don't have to worry about getting the right size at the time of purchase. Now, Loop does include a small plastic case, but I wouldn't call it resilient, and the keychain attachment likely wouldn't last very long on my keys. Last on our list were the Eargasm High Fidelity Earplugs. These devices offer a great quality from the robust silicone earpiece to the resilient metal carrying case. After putting them in my ears, I was very impressed with their sound quality and found them to offer one of the most uniform profiles I have experienced. These are definitely a good high fidelity option, and the ability to completely remove the filter means you can thoroughly clean them without fears of ruining the acoustic filter. I also wanted to highlight their keychain carrying case because for me, this is as good as it gets. The aluminum case is strong and very water resistant as they have included a rubber o-ring at the connection point. I've honestly been using this case on my keys for months without any issues. Our rating of these devices included many categories such as uniformity of sound attenuation, comfort, sound protection, cost, and more. To dive into that, check out my full review. But one of the major categories is sound quality. These are musicians' earplugs, and they are designed to keep things sounding natural so you can enjoy the show and or give a great performance. So let's hear a few sound samples so you can get a better sense of what they have to offer. If you're listening over monitors or computer speakers, take a moment and switch to headphones or earbuds so you can hear these samples more accurately. And if you want to learn more about how we made these recordings, stick around until the end of the video. Those sound samples give a good idea of how much attenuation each earplug provides. But now let's hear those same samples with equal volume. This will give us a better sense of how the earplugs affect sound quality and whether or not they offer more uniform sound attenuation. You may notice some hissing in these samples. That is the noise floor of our system, which is now audible because we've provided considerable gain to make the sound samples equal. It is not a product of the earplugs. Hopefully you were able to hear the differences between those sound samples. All three of these devices delivered on that original claim of being high fidelity and offering more uniform sound attenuation. So now that we've talked about them and you've had a chance to hear them with your own ears, how did these three rank among one another? Well, coming in third on our list were the Eargasm High Fidelity Earplugs. While these earplugs are nearly a home run regarding sound quality, getting a good fit was more difficult than I normally experience. Eargasm does include two sizes and the smaller ear tip helped, but I still struggle. This isn't a deal breaker, but what it leads me to think is that their sizes run a little large. Coming in second, the Edemotic Research ER20XS held true to their lineage. They offer slightly less overall sound attenuation than our other winners, meaning they sound a little more natural and open. It is possible to overprotect yourself, so you may not always want the highest noise reduction rating. With ER20XS, I felt less plugged, I was able to hear conversation more easily, and in general, I felt far less isolated from the world around me. With that said, 
you may need more attenuation depending on your circumstances. Now we can't cover all of that in this video, but feel free to leave a comment if you have questions about your individual sound exposures. With all that out of the way, our top rated earplug turned out to be the Loop Experience Pro. One of the best elements of Loop plugs is the ease of use and overall comfort. While some may not like the visual aesthetic and how visible they are in ear, the larger size and shape makes insertion quick and easy. For me, it also functioned as a canal lock, keeping the earplug seated in my ear without fears of it falling out. The overall fit, combined with the assortment of ear tips, the mute, and excellent sound quality made this device stand out above all others. Now, it is worth noting that experiences with earplugs vary due to differences in our ear anatomy and our ability to insert them properly. Furthermore, if you are regularly exposed to loud environments or have concerns regarding your hearing, please schedule an appointment with an audiologist familiar with hearing conservation and music. It is always better to know where you stand, and there are many tests that can be done to assess how well a specific earplug will work for you. With that said, let's take a look at how we tested these devices. Evaluation of earplugs is hard and no methodology is perfect. But for our test setup, an Antelope Orion Studio audio interface feeds Yamaha HS5 powered speakers. A Keymar mannequin is used to record sound back into our audio interface. Keymar, the speakers, and the presented audio are all calibrated. The room is both sufficiently quiet and dampened as most surfaces have several inches of acoustic absorption. The quality of each earplug's fit was assessed by measuring the occluded or plugged response and comparing plots to manufacture data. Once fit was deemed relatively accurate, five occluded sign sweeps were recorded using Room EQ Wizard, which made both calibration and recording the data much easier. The earplugs were completely removed and reinserted between recordings to account for fit variability. This data was then averaged for plots and analysis. The music sound samples you heard a moment ago were recorded once the responses between both ears were relatively equal and matching expectations for occlusion. Again, no methodology is perfect, but this is what we found to be the most accurate while allowing us to consistently and easily replicate our test setup. There is much more behind what we're doing and we'll have more information available on that shortly. That's it for this video, so thank you for watching. If you've tried these earplugs, let us know how they worked for you. I'm also curious if anyone has a go-to set that we didn't mention. Regardless, if you like the video, please consider sharing it so we can get more people protecting their hearing. You can also find much more information about all of the devices I tested with sound samples in my review on Hearing Tracker. A link to that is included below, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.